Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can connect ManyChat to Dialogflow and use Google's AI in your Messenger chatbot. And for this tutorial, you will need four accounts. You will need a GitHub account because we need to have some code to make the integration. We have a Google account because we're going to use Dialogflow. We have a ManyChat account for our Messenger chatbot and a DigitalOcean account because we're going to use DigitalOcean to literally create the web app for the integration. So today we're going to make a connection between ManyChat and Dialogflow. And we're going to do that by putting some code on GitHub and create a web app from this that creates that connection. But before we start, I want to make a huge shout out to Gen Media for creating the Python code and a huge shout out to Thijs Verbeek for creating the setup for DigitalOcean. So let's start by copying the code from my GitHub account to your GitHub account. So what you will need is a GitHub repository and you need to copy these files to your own GitHub account. So how are we going to do this? So if you go to your own GitHub account, if you log in and then you go to repositories and then just new, then we can create a new repository name. So we will call this ManyChat Dialogflow Integration. Then we can set it to private and we can click on create repository. And then if you scroll down, you can click here on import code. And if you do that, and then if you go to my repository and I have added a link in the description, you can just copy the URL and paste it over here and then click on begin import. Then it will import all the files in the repository. And then if we click on this, you have your own version of my files. And what's important here is that we have two files that we need to change. We have the config.json file that we need to change and the ManyChat Dialogflow file that we need to change. So now we need to go to our Google Cloud and we need to create a new project. So if we go to console.cloud.google.com, here we can create a new project. So if you click here and then click on new project, we can call it ManyChat DF integration. And then we can click on create. So this will take a little bit because you see here it's loading. And then if when it's created, you can click on it. So now we created our Google project. So we can close the Chatamize GitHub repository. And if we go to our own GitHub repository, we need to click on config.json. And here you can find a URL. We need to copy that one. And then we need to open it in a new tab. Then if you scroll down, you can click on go to the create service account key page. And here we need to create a new service account. So we can click on select, then new service account and set it to ManyChat DF integration. We will select the role, which will be project and then owner. And we will set the key type to JSON. So we can click on create. And then automatically the JSON key, the private key will be saved to your computer. So you can save it to your computer and you can open it. So I will show how this looks like. So this is how it looks like. I don't recommend to share this key with anyone else besides yourself, because if someone has access to the key, they can access your Google Cloud account and that's not something that you want. So we need to copy this. And then if we go to the config.json, we can just edit it and then remove all the content that's in there and just paste it. And then if we scroll down, we can click on commit changes. Then if we go to Dialogflow, we can create a new agent. So we will create a new agent and we will call it ManyChat Dialogflow Integration. 
We will set the default language to English and the Google project will be the Google project we just created. So that will be ManyChat DF integration and we can click on create. So once that is created, we can click on the settings and then we have the project ID. So we need to copy this project ID and then if we go back to GitHub, we need to go to the ManyChat dialogflow.py and we can edit this file. Then if we scroll down, you will find here the DF is dialogflow and here you need to paste the project ID. So that's what we need. The next thing we need is our ManyChat API key. So if we go back to ManyChat and then go to settings, scroll down a little bit and choose for API, and then here you can find your API key. So we can also copy this key. And if we go back, we can also fill in the ManyChat API key. Also again for this one, don't share your ManyChat API key with anyone else besides yourself. You don't want anyone to have that. And then if we scroll down, we can click on commit changes. So that's really all there is with the integration. But this is just code. We need to put this code to life. And that's what we're going to do with DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean is a platform where you can host your code directly from GitHub. And in the description, I've put a URL which gives you $100 in credit in the first 60 days, which allows you to host your ManyChat and Dialogflow integration for free in the coming two months. So you just need to go to chatamice.com slash DigitalOcean. And if you go to that, then you will automatically go to the DigitalOcean website and you also see that you got your $100 credit. But I already have a DigitalOcean account, so I'll just sign in. And I'm also automatically signed in. And then we need to click on Create and then Apps. Then we need to link our GitHub account. So it will authorize DigitalOcean to have access to all of your GitHub repositories. I always give all the repositories, but you can only select some repositories, but I will just go with all. Then we can install and authorize, and then we can choose the repository, which is ManyChat Dialogflow integration. We can click on next. Then we can also select auto deploy code changes. This means that if you change the code in GitHub, DigitalOcean will automatically use the change code. It's a function I really like about DigitalOcean, so I will set it to on, and we can click on Next. And it automatically detects the Docker file that we created in our repository. We can also click on Next. Then you need to select your plan. So you need to have a minimum of a basic plan, which starts at $5 a month. Uh, you can also choose with the pro plan, but the basic plan covers all the things you need. So I will just go with basic. Then automatically you will set the basic size to $10. Don't do that, just go to $5. Then you will see it will only cost you $5 a month and we can launch the basic app. So it will show you that it has been created and then it will build the app, which takes some time. Usually it takes around two minutes. So once the app is built, it will automatically say deployed successfully and then if you click on this URL, meta not allowed, that's normal. We just need to copy this URL because we're going to need that in our ManyChat flow. So if we go to ManyChat and we go to our settings, we first need to go to Messenger and then go with default reply. And default reply is the message that shows if the chatbot doesn't know the answer to a question of the user. And we need to change that. So if we go to edit, and then go with edit flow. I already have a default reply flow, so I will do it to the bottom. And then if we create a new action, so we go with action, and then that will be the first step. So the first step will be an action and it's setting a custom field. So we go with set custom field. 
and the custom field will be language code. And it needs to be language code. It cannot be another custom field. It needs to be language code. So we will create a new user field, language code. We will set it to text. We will create it, and the value will be en. And the reason why it's en, because if we go back to Dialogflow, we only have en. And in the rest of this tutorial, just in a few minutes, I will also show you how we can handle multiple languages. But for now, it's just en. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to create a send message. The content type must be other, and we will go with dynamic. And in the dynamic, we can add a request. So we'll click on it, and here we will request URL. Here's the URL that we pasted which is from the DigitalOcean app. And then if we go to body, we need to add the full contact data. So we can click on save, and then we will hit publish. So that's working. So this happens when someone asks a question, your chatbot doesn't understand it, and then it will go automatically to Dialogflow. But what if Dialogflow understands your question, then we also need to have a flow that gives a response in ManyChat. So if we go to automation and then we go with flows, then we cl can click on new flow and we will call it Dialogflow response. And let's say we're a pizza company and we want to handle if someone says, I want a pizza. So our response will be just a simple text response. We will set the content type to other and we will say, awesome, you can order pizzas here. So we'll go and click on publish and that's really it. Then we need to copy this. We need to copy content and then all the numbers behind it. So we can copy this. And then if we go to dialogue flow, we can create an intent. So let's say someone wants to order a pizza, we can create the intent order.pizza, and then we, will, or we are going to add two training phrases. So we're going to add, I want a pizza, and we're going to add, I want to order a pizza. So that's it for now. And then if we go to responses, we can add a response, and we will set, we can click on add response and then custom payload. And then it will be in double quotation marks, flow, double points, and then paste the content. And then if we click on save, that should be working. So if we go to messenger, messenger.com, and then if I type in, I want a pizza, it says, awesome, you can order pizzas here. So this means our integration is working, but this is just for handling an intent in Dialogflow. But can we also handle entities? Of course we can. So if we go back to Dialogflow and we go to entities, we can create an entity called topping. So people want to order a pizza, but some people want a veggie pizza, other people want a salami pizza. So we need to handle those different kinds of toppings on the pizza. So we can just create one called topping and we will just give it one value called veggie. When that's created, we can go back to intents, go for the order.pizza intent, and then say, I want to order a veggie pizza and then we can annotate veggie with topping so we can click on topping and then Dialogflow understands that veggie is a kind of topping so we can click on save so if we then go to many chat we need to go to our settings I'll open this in a new tab and we need to add a new custom field to handle those Entities. So if we can click on custom field, we will create a new user field, which is called topping. And this needs to be the same as the entity name in Dialogflow, which was also called topping. So we can create this one. And then if we go to our Dialogflow response, we can create a condition. 
So we can say condition topping is veggie. If the topping is veggie, this will be the first step. So if the topping is veggie, is not veggie, then we say awesome, you can order pizzas here. And otherwise we will say other awesome, you can order veggie pizzas here. So we can click on publish. And then if we go back to messenger and we say again, I want a pizza. Awesome, you can order pizzas here. And otherwise you say, I want to order a veggie pizza. Then we'll say, awesome, you can order a veggie pizzas here. So that's how you can handle entities with Dialogflow in ManyChat. But what if you want to handle multiple languages? They need to first change the language. So if we go to Dialogflow, then we can go with the settings and then we go with languages and we can select an additional language. So my native language is Dutch, so I will just go with Dutch and then we can click on save. And then if we go with NL, so then we can just go with the same intent, order pizza, and then we can add new training phrases specifically for the Dutch language. So I want I want to add ik wil een pizza and ik wil and pizza bestellen. Well, automatically grab the location for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I will remove that one and then I will save it. And I will set the response just to a simple text response to show you that it's possible. So, hey, that is the Dutch language. So, you can just add complete flows in ManyChat or you can just add a simple text response that will also work with this integration. So then we can click on save. Then if we go back to settings in ManyChat and then with messenger, we need to set the default reply, change it, edit the flow, and we will set the language code to NL because NL is for the Dutch language. You can see that here, NL. Um, so we will change it, the language code to NL and then we say publish. And then if we type in, oh, if we type in, Ik wil een pizza, which is Dutch for I want to order a pizza. It will say, hey, that is the Dutch language. And that's how you create an integration between ManyChat and Dialogflow. I showed you how we can handle intents. I showed you how we can handle entities. And I showed you how we can handle multiple languages in your ManyChat chatbot by using Dialogflow. If you like this integration and it really helped you, please leave a comment below. And if you have questions or something isn't just working, also leave a comment and I will reply as soon as possible to help you out. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.